subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is vernalization vernalization is effect of cold temperature on flowering it was vaisenko who first reported the effect of cold temperature on flowering he gave artificial cold treatment to wheat seedling he showed then when artificial cold treatment is given to wheat seedling it flowers and fruits in the same season the plants remain vegetative during the warm season they receive the low temperature during the winter after they after which they grow and then they flower and fruit vernalization prevents early maturity and reproductive development giving the plant sufficient time to reach its maturity so until the cold treatment is given the plant remains vegetative after the low temperature treatment is given it flowers and then fruits vernalization can be seen in winter variety of annual plants annual plants that complete their life cycle in one season like wheat rye barley in biennials biennials are plants that complete their life cycle in two seasons in first season they grow vegetatively after which they require the cold treatment and then they flower and fruit in the next season example cabbage sugar beet and carrot and perennials some perennials like chrysanthemum perennials are plants that survive for many years and after cold treatment they flower and fruit each year now the winter variety of these annuals like wheat rye barley also have a spring variety which is planted in the spring and they flower and fruit in the same season now while the winter varieties they are planted during the autumn grow into seedling during the winter it is during this period that they are vernalized that is the cold treatment is given they resume growth in the spring season and then they flower and fruit in the summer season they are planted in the autumn seed season seedlings are formed in the winter which get vernalized they resume growth during the spring season and flower and fruit in the summer season now the low temperature that is required is 0 to 5 degree vernalization is perceived by the growing regions that is the meristems like shoot tip root tip developing leaves this stimulus that is received by the meristem is then transferred to all parts of the plant it is believed that vernalin vernalin is a hypothetical hormone is formed which prepares the plant for flowering it vernalin itself is unable to induce flowering it only prepares the plant for flowering and when a vernalized plant is exposed to high temperature 
devernalization occurs a vernalized plant when exposed to high temperature the vernalization is reversed back or devernalization takes place that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching